What it do, what it do. Happy 2022, y'all. We made it another year. Happy 2022. Um, yeah, it's the new year. I know. Another year. This is what, the second year that we are actually doing this YouTube channel. And we appreciate and love all of y'all that comment, like, subscribe, and, you know, just rock with us. We right. really do appreciate that real talk. Exactly. So this is year two. Mm -hmm. And um, we just wanted to come on here and just say Happy New Year to everyone and just give you guys some little updates mm -hmm. for what's to come in our channel this year. Right. And we hope that you guys had a safe and happy New Year's. Um, right. Of course, it's a lot going on, but we still here. Right. Deuce, deuce, baby. Right. So, first of all, um, we want to say... Uh, well, let me just let you guys know what's going on. Mm -hmm. So, um, I, right after our last video, which was the New Year's Day video. Which you guys tuned in and saw and watched. Thanks for commenting. Right, did y'all enjoy that video? I know right. y'all did because we was turned. Right. Per usual. But right. Go ahead. Um, so, right after that video that we filmed for New Year's Day, mm -hmm. I caught Omicron COVID. Um, and I'm just, I'm actually just getting back to my normal self a little bit. And I mean, just like since this week. So I'm still kind of like, you know, a little woozy, a little weak. That girl had me like down. He was you know? down bad. Like, <clears throat> uh, Marion really gave him that icebox for real. But I'm good though. Right. I'm, I got tested today. I tested twice. I'm Gucci. Right. He actually was good. So let me just tell y'all how it all happened. So um, the New Year's video, we filmed that, which was New Year's Eve, was that Friday. We went out that Friday night. Had a good time. Right. Nonetheless. We had a good time Friday night. Then Saturday, which was that New Year's Day. Here in Baltimore, it was very fluff. There was a lot of fog here in the city. It was, it was ugly for real. And we were out New Year's Day, and we went out to get something to eat. We went to go visit some friends, mm -hmm. and then that Sunday is when it all happened for me. It was all downhill. Um, I got up that Sunday. Um, I felt pretty normal actually that Sunday, that er that Sunday. But then once like the evening came about, my body felt kind of like weird. And I kind of felt like a little like, like somebody actually like took me and shook me for a little bit, but I just paid it and was like, well, you know what? I'm getting a little older, shit, things just change. So that's how I looked at it. But then as the time progressed that evening, I sat down in the bedroom and then I just felt kind of like weird. So I'm like, something is off. Something is weird. I know exactly, you know, how my body is when I'm not my normal self. So, you know, if, and especially if you're a person that's in tune with your body, you should know when something is wrong with you. And you should. So what I did was I actually like cleaned the room up and I like changed the sheets and I'm like, let me just lay here for a little bit. And... <clears throat> when we went to bed that Sunday night is when I was just not myself. Nope. So <laughs> while we sleep, well, while he sleep, cause I could barely get sleep. I kept like sitting up trying to like gasp for air. And this is the part that I really didn't even tell him or my mother. Like I had to like, every time I would like go to sleep, I could go to sleep a little bit, but I felt like somebody was like stepping, like trying to stomp on my chest. So I had to like sit up a little bit just to get a little bit of sleep, just to get a little bit of air so I can breathe. Cause I could not breathe while I was laying down. So I had to sit up like this. So I had to been probably like five o'clock that morning. And I think you were getting ready for work. And that's when um, I was like something, my, I'm just not feeling good. So my mother was like, I think you should go to the hospital. To the hospital. But I was too scared to go because I thought they were going to do something. You know how us black folk is, they, you know. You got insurance, by the way. Yeah. Okay. If you have insurance, go to the hospital. Because we all know what's out here. So 
Um, they all left. I got myself up, took a shower, you know, and I went to the hospital that Monday morning. So when I get in there, I explain to them my symptoms, what's going on, how I'm feeling, and the um, the nurse that got the, the lady at the thing, she was like, well, you know what? She was like, we're gonna do a COVID test, we're gonna test you for COVID. I said, well, look, guess what? I said, I haven't been tested in a while, but I had taken a test twice. And she was like, well, you know, we were gonna stick the thing up your nose. And I'm like, okay, whatever, just do the goddamn test. So then after she tested me, they, you know, <clears throat> registered me, set me down. I just sat there on the back. And that's why, like I said, I only could, like, get some sleep if I was sitting up. Because that's the only way I could, like, breathe. So I'm, like, sitting up like this. And I'm, like, you know, getting a little bit of sleep here and there while I'm in the waiting room. And then they call me the back. And they're talking to me. And then that's when she tells me that I have COVID. And I'm like, no. Well, and, you did go out for New Year's. Right. So, I mean. Right. So, that's when the doctor was like, yes, you do have COVID. So, I was like, oh, my God, I got Omicron. And they were like, yes, you did. You got, you got the worst kind. Mm -hmm. So, I'm like, really? I was so annoyed. I had an excruciating headache. My body was aching. My stomach was all messed up. My legs were really weak. My eyes were like really like low. They it already is low. It wasn't a flattering sight, but nonetheless, no. he he pulled through. Right. So I just so being as though that I had COVID, and you know Troy's here, and my mom is here too. Um, I had to tell them, and. Being as though that he was going to go visit his family in Cincinnati a couple of days later, I just told him he had to just like <clears throat> stay away, stay much. away for a little bit, just you know, so he could stay safe, and then he didn't have to pass it to his relatives yeah. when he went to um, Cincinnati to go visit them. All right, because I already know if it came back positive for me, I wasn't going back home because my mother she had you know ailments and stuff like that and. Yeah, I, I wasn't gonna change it at all. So, right. Yeah, my cousin. So. so while he is away, I'm here, you know, just nursing myself, getting myself back to health. So I just laid around in the house for the last, for, right, for the first four days. I just laid around. Just as you should. I mean, you didn't have the strength to do anything. You right, just gotta could, let the virus pass through. Right. And when I tell you, like, all I could do was just like watch TV and just take some Tylenol, some Advil, and take some Theraflu Express Max, which is really good. Um, <clears throat> that's all I did, and just tried to get as much rest as I could. For the first four days, I just laid around the house. And, you know, <laughs> guys, I just started a brand new job. Actually, I just started a brand new job on the third, and Luckily, a lot of the work is like virtual a little bit right now, so I didn't have to like be out and about with people. So it kind of worked out in my favor a little bit. I did notify them, let them know that I was sick because I still had, you know, some cases I had to like take care of, but I pushed through it last week to the best of my ability. I mean, it was really hard for me last week, y'all. I don't know if y'all, you know, if I would have made it, I would not be right here having this conversation with you guys. You know, have you guys experienced the new strand of Marion? Um, like I said, he was down bad and I hated it for him, you know, but this is something that's serious. You can be fully vaccinated and stuff and still catch it. So right. just be cautious of, you know, what you do, who you interact with, like still wear your mask, social distance. Right. And stuff like that. So, you know. Cause um, yeah, it wasn't it wasn't pretty. It wasn't a good sight for me. So, you know, when Troy just said something about get vaccinated, I do remember that the doctor saying, Well, a good thing about it is that being as that you're vaccinated, mm -hmm. that the symptoms won't be severe. Right. That right. bitch lied because even though I was vaccinated, that shit still hurt it. And my body hurt badly. But your chances of fighting it off was greater versus someone who wasn't vaccinated at all. I mean, that's true too, but it still hurt it. So her telling me, me being vaccinated, I won't 
had the severe symptoms, the bitch lied to me. Well, I don't want to say the bitch, the doctor. Let me be very nice. The doctor lied to me because I was in pain. You know, I had to use the bathroom constantly. Um, my legs were hurting, my arms were hurting. And like, my, it just, my body just. These variants drop like Jordans, like, so. Just please, just please, just please, just please be safe because I feel like this is a battle that's just going to go back and forth. Right. So um, how was your trip to Cincinnati? So my trip back to Cincinnati, the nasty natty, it was cool. I mean, we really couldn't do as much due to the pandemic being out on Marion, just out here, just shooking and jiving and jiving and shooking. But the reason why I did go back to Cincinnati, Ohio is because my little brother, my man had just got released from prison doing six years and I wrote it out with him, you know what I'm saying? That's my baby brother, I love him to pieces and I know he would have did the same. So he came home um, on a Wednesday, I went home that Friday and we just had a good time. We did step out, uh, my cousin did have something at her house, it was small gathering. And um, it was just good to be back home because I don't think we went, did we go back home to Cincinnati last year? Yeah, or was it the year? It was just this past year, what are you talking about? Uh, oh, yeah, 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 for my mama's um, birthday. That was in August of 2020 and I had just 2021. 2021. So we went back <laughs> home August of 2021. This is 2022, so yeah, so. We had a good time. I really enjoyed myself. Um, I got to see my family, some of my friends. I didn't really get to see everybody, but I had a good time. It was just short-lived because I was only there from Friday to Sunday. But nonetheless, welcome home, little bro. I love you. We love you. And welcome it was home. just a turn-up situation. Like, mm -hmm. my little brother bigger than me. He made me look like a toddler. So, wow, for real? Yeah. My little brother. I'm three years his senior, but he's bigger than me. So I'm a little a twink, you know. Wow. I'm glad that you actually got a chance to go back home and see your brother. Mm -hmm. Because it's you know, it's important that we uh support our family members of in those moments and times when they need our support. Mm -hmm. Being as though that he was down for those years and you were able to be there for him. So that's a big you know, so, yeah. you know, I, that is the goal for this year in 2022, to collaborate with some other YouTubers and um, just to try to give you guys some more content and just try to just, you know, give you guys an even more personal in-depth, you know, with Tony and TJ, you know. Yes. We're going to try to get out and do some meet and greets this year. Um those are the plans. Those are the plans. You know, I get a ton of requests about when are you guys are going to start doing meet and greets. Are you going to start hosting some parties? We're going to start doing some things like that yes. come this year. Um, and so I want to know this. When we do start the meet and greets, are y'all going to come out? Right. Or are y'all going to pull up? Right. Because there's no need for us to do meet and greets and y'all not going to show up. Right, right. So, you know, just um, let let us know in the comments the cities that y'all are in. Right. Um, the cities that y'all want us to come to. Mm -hmm. um, and tell people about us because that's the best way that you guys can get us there. If y'all tell people about us, we can come there faster. You know, um, also, please, you guys, all you guys have social medias. I'm quite sure you have Facebook, Instagram, Twitters and things like things like that mm -hmm. when you guys watch our videos if you're watching our videos i'm quite sure you guys have screen recording your phones and i'm quite sure you guys have iphones i'm hoping you guys have iphones you screen record our videos tag us like put your put put our videos on your instagrams and your insta stories on your facebook's and on your twitters and tag us in the video mm -hmm. so we can give you guys shout outs so we know that you guys are engaging with us right. on social media also <clears throat> That is important that you guys do that because you know we know what cities that you guys are located in when we start to do these meet and greets. So you guys can tell us, tell more people about who we are so we can have a broader audience and you know our YouTube 
channel can grow. Right. It's growing, but it's you know. growing. And like I said, we appreciate you all that really rock with us from day one, even right. those that's jumping on shit, you know, as we go along our journey and stuff. But right. yeah, me and Tony would definitely be making our rounds. Right. Hopefully COVID free. Um, right. What you mean, hopefully COVID free? Well, yeah. And stuff like that. But um, yeah, like what he said, put us out there. Right. Um, we will see you guys in our next video, which will be coming up soon. Yes. Um, and again, we do appreciate all the love and support that you guys show us on this channel. We really do, y'all. Without y'all, we wouldn't do what we do. So right. we appreciate it. Right. And all that good stuff. Right. So um, I guess we finna nurse him back to health. And yeah. Eat. Nurse me back to health. You, know. you you don't have COVID no more, dude. Shut up. What up?